welcome back to Studio Lou. This is Cindy, and today I'm accompanied by my little toadstool friend here um, to bring you number four in the gnome journal series that I created. So there are two journals like this one that have been sort of crazy quilt stitched on a handmade um, batik fabric that I myself actually um, batiked and dyed. And so this uh, is a handmade journal cover. And this little mushroom dangles from one of the signature strings. This book is one signature um, and it's not overly stuffed. It does have a lot of nice goodies, but um, it's it's got plenty of room for expansion. So I'm just going to jump right in. I am hoping to try to get through the rest of these journals this week. So you'll probably see a flurry of videos coming out from me about journals because um, I would like to get them posted in the shop. I have a lot of yarns that I um, am working on also to get in the shop. So there will be some updates coming from me. Things have been extremely busy this fall. So anyhow, let's just jump in. So I'm calling this journal the Toadstool Hydrangea Journal because it starts out with this lovely hydrangea paper. And on this side, we have a little um, pocket with a gnome with a basket of some fruit. So the inside of this journal, both sides, has been um, sealed and basically like decoupaged with um, hand dyed paper that's from a large format encyclopedia. So inside this pocket, there are three things. One is the note from me, the bookmaker, about my journals. And this um, tag here, a journaling tag, that's basically about blackbirds. And uh, this is from the original gnome book. It has some mushroom stamping on it. And also this large journal card, which is also from an original uh, gnome book. And it says Tweet Chirp on the back and has some stamping as well. These are heavyweight cards. They've been sewn around. And if you haven't seen my first journal um, series video, the Gnome Tome, I'd recommend that you watch it because it talks about um, how I came across all of the, the gnome related material that I made these journals with. And the second page is some graph paper here with some handmade leaf paper. These are all just little tiny leaves. And over here um, is, this is from the gnome book as well. There's a little tiny gnome there and a couple of reindeer. Inside is a journal tag. This is a more kind of winter gnome scene. This is avocado dyed paper. And um, here we have some book page from uh, a nature magazine, and this is about the Japanese pagoda tree. And on this side, there's a pocket, and behind the pocket, there's a mushroom spore print, and um, a little bit of information about spore printing, which you'll see continued in this journal. So this pocket is collaged, um, it's got some little birds here, and a lovely aloe plant, and inside is this gnome journal card, and this gnome is just sort of celebrating with some friends. And on this side, we have a belly band of a gnome helping out a, um, a little, um, what are they called? Hedgehog. Hedgehog. And inside is a collage journal card. And this is on children's um, book paper from a, a book about vegetables. It was really colorful and lovely. And on this side, we actually have two pockets. So... One is this little pocket with this gnome and the other is this um, sort of woodland scene and it talks a little bit about the woodland or forest gnome. And um, there are two small journal cards that go in these pockets. So this is just a little floral one and it just pops in there. And then this one um, has a gnome and a little bee here. Um, and it talks about some of the um, medicine, the plant medicine that gnomes do with Arnica. And on this side is actually a fabric pocket. And this is... Um, Tula pink fabric with this beautiful um, pattern and this little fox that's curled up here. And inside we have this gnome journal card and he's just shoveling an acorn along and there's an acorn on the back. And this is just kind of a rocky nature scene. 
And on this side, we have this little pocket made from a book page with a gnome holding a big toadstool mushroom and a little pig on a ribbon. And inside is a journal card, another wintry gnome scene. And over here is some eco dyed paper that I dyed with flowers. And more here, this is iron and flowers. And then just some brown cardstock. And um, this is a little tuck and it's on a paper about different birds eggs and it's been sewn down. This is a child gnome, a couple of them and a little mouse at the dinner table. And on the back we have this sweet little mouse. And more of the eggs. And on this side we have a journal card with uh, some birds been collaged and it's called this large collaged uh, journal tag lots of interesting fungi and on the back here we have a little uh, beetle on a leaf and this is on cabbage dyed um, large format blown up um, encyclopedia paper with a seahorse here This is cabbage dyed paper. This is more book page paper about tree maturity stages. And this is a little pocket that has some nice fabric and a gnome walking under a chair. Inside is this journal tag with this lovely uh, toadstool, uh, like anthropomorphic toadstool talking to a gnome. And it's been collaged has the little bird up here and cabbage dyed paper and back here is just some more of that tree book or tree magazine on the other side we have this um this is actually just a really nice scrapbook paper it's nice and gray kind of looks like deck boarding and some botanicals and then this beautiful um book page of birds and a little laughing gnome on some coffee dyed paper and this is a fabric with little bees on it that's just been sewn on some brown paper. And some vintage book page of some birds. And a starling. And this is um, a magazine page of uh, beautiful mustard plants. More flowers and then this is the center of the signature coming up. And this is a coloring book page from the story of Pandora. And this is just more botanical paper for writing on. More of the mustard. And then this is a sort of a little, I think it's a hawk. And on this side, we have this um, big jumble fold out that's coffee dyed paper. Um, and it's like a long notebook paper and it has this little pansy on it. And you just pull it right out and it's got one, two, three, four, five sections and it's both sides so it provides a lot of writing space so you could write a little story about gnomes on there <laughs> and over here we have a pocket that's been kind of crazy quilt sewn it has a gnome carrying a basket of goodies and inside is this large journal card with a frog mouth and um, a gnome with some um, different parts of a pine tree the seeds and the, the pine cone and on the back is just um, handmade um, paper. And, oops, I gotta, there we go. I missed a page. This is uh, more of that bird paper and then just some botanical and more of the deck boarding style kind of almost stone like paper. Over here we have a pocket with this little gnome carrying an ax. And behind it is more of that gardening magazine about fast growing trees, the American sweet gum. And this is a journal tag for writing on the back. It's got this bird here and the front has been collaged with all sorts of botanicals and uh, a bee, some um, doily and coloring book page. And 
And on this side we have um, a mother gnome and a spider and a daddy long leg spider. And it's a pocket and inside it's more of this uh, tree paper. And inside is this lovely big journal card with an owl and some uh, pretty botanical sticker. And on the back there's just this lovely little botanical as well. That just tucks right in there. And this is cabbage dyed paper. And on this side we have a pocket um, on the large format cabbage dyed encyclopedia paper. There's a nice owl on here. And this journal tag of sort of a wintry gnome in the snow hugging a cat. And it's been collaged. And more of the um, different bird eggs. And this is more of the eco printed paper and a botanical image and a gull. And this is a little pocket with two little toadstools. This is on that children's um, fruit and vegetable book paper. Inside's a journal card with a gnome and his little, looks like a little wood house or a little seed house. And he's feeding a rabbit, a mouse and a bird. And over here we have a collage pocket with a toadstool and this is um, a journal tag inside with this little butterfly. And this is more information about mushroom spore printing and actually one of my own spore prints from my vacation in Quebec. I was able to do a bunch of mushroom spore printing. So I was lucky I was able to include um, some of my spore printing in this journal series. I think this book specifically is the one that kind of has the most ephemera relating to mushroom printing because it actually has information on how to do mushroom prints. And this is more of the paper about um, trees and gardening. This is the princess tree and the Japanese cedar. This is avocado dyed paper, large format encyclopedia. This is another small partial mushroom print. Well, it's a full one, but um, you don't see spores all the way around. Like you sort of see here, here, but maybe not as much here. And it's on graph paper. And that's more of the beautiful hydrangeas. And now we're at the back cover of the book. So this is a pocket that's been collaged with this gnome. And inside are um, a couple of things. So again, the, the back is the same as the front. And we have this large journal card. So there's uh, this is from the original gnome book. It's original art. And this is a mother gnome who seems to be shouting about something and um, she's basically I think about to have a baby actually if I recall correctly in the story and this mouse is fetching her her little slippers and on the back is just some nice stamping and that just tucks in there and then we have a collaged journal tag with this sparrow on the front and some birds and some insects and um, it's just been kind of um, loop-de-loop -loop stitched around and it's a nice heavy weight. So that concludes this journal. So that's the Toadstool Hydrangea Journal. And that will be going up in my Etsy shop probably tomorrow or possibly today if I have time, along with um, a few other videos that are going to be coming out. So thank you so much for watching. Um, if you want to know more about this journal series or um, in general, my social media, I'm Studio Lou pretty much everywhere on the internet. And I will put the links to everything in the description box. I'd love it if you left me a like or a comment or subscribe to help so you get my videos out there and it's really nice to have this community so have a wonderful day